Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be making a street lamp for our park, for our FPS game in Unity. Last time we made the bench, so you can check that video out. First I'm going to spawn in a cube, and if you press shift tab you can um, enable snap during transform right here. And then by pressing G and Z on your keyboard it's going to move along the Z axis. And I want to place it flat on the ground. And then press shift control alt C to origin 3D cursor, so now we can rotate around this point and scale around this point. I'm going to scale it on uh, the Y and the X axis, a very easy way to do that is by just going S to scale and then pressing Shift Z to scale on every axis except Z. And now just scale it so it's a bit thinner. And now press S Z to scale on the Z axis. Now I want a very modern looking lamp, so I will just, in edit mode, select this top part, like this, and then extrude, and scale, and then again extrude, and then extrude, and scale. And then extrude once more. Now I can have the light on this wide part and the rest will just look very clean and nice. I want to maybe lower this down a bit like this and also I have to assign the, the proper materials so if I go to the materials tab I can just create two new materials the first one will be the metal material of the lamp so I'll just rename that to man one quickly and the second one will be material two and I have to assign that to this one so if I go to face select mode with control tab and then shift right click all the faces that I need. Don't forget the top and bottom faces right here. And now just select the material too and click assign. Before we go I also want to rename the mesh to lamp. And since we're going to import this into unity just press rx minus 90. And then with control A apply the location, rotation and scale. Now you can rotate it back with Rx minus 90 or Rx 90 sorry. Now we'll save this so file save as. I'll save this as a lamp and also file export FBX. Save this as a lamp too. I will uh, click selected object down here and uh, check this for a scale. Now just click export. This is it for this episode, hopefully the next episode is coming tomorrow and, at, and not in 2 or 3 days because this one was very short. Um, if you enjoyed this be sure to leave a like, share it with your friends, you can go follow me on my social media also, there's links to that in the description and um, hopefully I'll see you next time, bye bye.